Yeah, I think uh, we're firing all cylinders right now. Loved our start again uh, today. Thought the boys came out gunning. Thought it could have potentially been a little more than two. And then um, really liked the way we stuck with it. Unfortunate bounce late in this first there. Really strange. Uh, we're going to have to check that corner out by the Zamboni door. Um, they, they capitalize on it, make it 2-1. And, uh, you know, for how well we played in the first, to only be up one, I think, you know, the guys weren't all that happy. But we kept our composure, kept playing the right way, and, uh, you know, finally wore them down there late in the second. And, and they came in bunches. And overall, good weekend. So many games this uh, Cardiff Devils team has goals in bunches. Um, is there a, a, a thought process behind that? Is it just a magic formula that, that just kind of kind of happens with this team? Where does that come from? Well, I think we have a lot of firepower. I think we have a lot of offense, uh, both defensive, you know, as D-man and as forwards. Um, I think when you play the right way, and that's you know that's what the guys buy into day in and day out. And when you play the right way, the the offense comes, the chances come, and uh, confidence. You know, I'm not a huge believer in it, but it obviously is a factor, and the guys are confident right now, and um, it's it's good. You know, it's uh, it's going well. I think you just got to keep focusing on the details, the process. Uh, and just keep training your, your mind and your body to do that. And when you do that, uh, good things happen, and that's what's going right now. Um, I, listen, I mean, I think it, it certainly started before then. I, I, I think it's fair to say anybody who's, who's watched us this season, and um, that's not really the, who we are. I think that I have to obviously give credit to Cardiff. I think it's probably the strongest Cardiff team that, you, you know, that we've, we've come across. And... Um, you know, I used a word earlier, they're relentless and they just keep coming at you in waves. Um, they're good. Um, that being said, I don't think we put up much of a fight tonight. I think even in that first period, um, we, were, we were quite fortunate to get out, out, out of that period at 2-1. Um, I would say, I mean, I think, I think a fair assessment would be that, um, you know, for about 12 or 13 minutes that second period, it looked like we were engaged and ready to play. And then obviously there was that, that five minutes of madness where they scored four goals and uh, effectively ended the, the hockey game. Your team has gone on a fantastic run of uh, eight victories in a row. You finished last season strongly. You started this season strongly. Everything seems to be going to plan. Um, you must be pretty happy. This is just a little bump in the road. There's no cause for concern for you going forward. Yeah, I mean, we're always going to we're always going to lose a game in regulation in the league. I don't think that we certainly expected it in that fashion. Um, you know, we're, we're not as deep as, as, a, as, a, as a few teams and a, and a couple of injuries, you know, we, we get awful thin. I think losing Chase Shaber last night, arguably um, uh, one of our, our, our strongest players from last year and certainly somebody that we tried to build around this year, it's a, a huge loss. And, um, you know, I think that, you know, I think get back to work this week and, and, and get the guys' minds right. Um, obviously, they have been, um, you know, extre extremely positive and buoyant over the last uh, couple of weeks. Um, but this will be a, a setback that we'll look to, to, to put behind us and, and come back to work on Tuesday.